my dad, Dad Zash is here with me. You know, I haven't really even looked at or held this at all since he's passed. The whole process, the last six weeks, it's been tough because my focus has been going towards the puppies and I haven't really had a chance to, you know, grieve. And I'm really, s I wonder what I always wonder what it's going to be like after they they leave because they've been such a big part of I guess you know distracting me from uh, from my dad passing away. Not having the chance to come to terms with losing someone that's been such a big part of your life. It's really, it's really tough. Feeding time. This is the second feeding of four for the day. So I go through this every day. For the first like three and a half weeks, I was waking up like every two and a half, um, three hours uh, to feed them. And they were on uh, mom's, they were on the mom's. Uh, nipples feeding off her. So it's a little bit easier because I transitioned them over to solid and I feed them raw. This is what I use and it's uh, locally sourced, which I like. This is what I usually do, kind of just heat up the goat's milk a little bit and then and mix it in with uh, with the raw food. It's really cute because they all kind of like attack it and they, you know, eat around. It's just a lot easier for a cleanup. So, okay, wakey, wakey, guys. He gets hungry. Wake up, Tootsie. Tootsie, wake up. Wake up. I always try to like gently wake them up 
instead of just grabbing them because it really scares them. Hi, Bubba. And this over here, this is Big Pete. This is Big Pete. He's the, he's really special to me. What made this litter so special was that my dad had nine siblings and that he was the second youngest out of the nine of them. In this litter, there was eight girls and one boy. And that one boy was the second youngest out of the litter. Hi, sweetie. Go get some food. You're so big. Go get some food. Oops. <laughs> there are gonna be five weeks tomorrow. Bless you. People are like attached to the puppies and like they've been you know, seeing them grow up and especially with the families that have reserved them. Um, they have seen the puppies since I brought them home, like the, like the day that, you know, they came home from the first feeding and it's been a really like cool experience, not just like for me, but for the families too, to kind of see how they're being cared for and how they're growing. And uh, Ruffles, which is, the smallest one over here. Um, she um, uh, she was she's she's the runt. She's the smallest, and she had some difficulty, you know, putting on weight. So I had to. She actually started losing weight, um, which is really scary because the first two two weeks is like very critical for any puppy. Um, their whole life is, for the first two weeks, is based on survival and putting on weight. So when she started dropping weight, you know, it was scary because I didn't want to see any of them obviously pass. So I had to bottle feed her every couple of hours. And then I actually had to learn how to tube feed. So I have a breeder friend of mine who drove down from Kingston, Ontario, like probably three and a half hours. Um, it was a Saturday, she drove down here, brought me supplies, because uh, the vets normally don't have that kind of stuff on hand. Um, and especially on a Sunday, like it's really hard to find uh, a vet that's open. So anyway, she came down and she taught me, showed me how to do it. And then I did a, a live after a couple of times of doing it. I did a like an IG live and like everybody saw like how I was doing it. And yeah, it's uh, it's been quite the, like last five weeks has been kind of crazy. He's so cute. Hi. Uh, hi. Hey, how's it going? I'm good. How are you? Not bad. Not bad. Oh my God! Look at your boy there. Uh, <laughs> you mean your boy? <laughs> my boy. Yeah. 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 Look what I was reading. Raising a puppy. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> and you guys are like all together. We could Facetime again and we could chat some more. Cool. Okay. All right. Bye. Great. Thank Thanks, Christine. <laughs> All right, bye. Today's pretty bittersweet. So all the puppies are going home. And it's time for them to go home. Uh, they're getting to that age where they want to play and they want to move around. And they need a family that could give them that attention before they leave. Come here, guys. Come here. so hard to give all of them the same amount of attention. Hi, Bubba's. Hi. Are you guys ready to go home? You ready to meet your new families? You guys are gonna be so spoiled. They have lots of toys for you, lots of room to run around, big families. They're gonna love and spoil you. Christmas is around the corner, so make sure you ask for something expensive because you guys deserve it.
You know what makes this the most difficult is that they've been such a support system for me the last eight weeks and they've created such distraction that I didn't really I didn't really like know what else and I'm not conveying this properly, but like my whole life for the last eight weeks has been revolved around them, but not consciously knowing that they're actually supporting me and distracting me from, you know, my father's passing. So that's why this is so emotional for me. Whereas like other puppies that I've owned before, it wasn't like, it wasn't as bad. Like it still, it still sucks and it's bittersweet, but this litter especially is, um, pulls on my heartstrings. Um, yeah. What's that? Is this for me? Yeah. Oh man, you rock buddy. Yo, put it there. Give me some bumps. Thanks. Hi, How you doing, yeah. Peter? I'm Daryl. Nice to meet you. Nice no, no. And you haven't met Brony either. Brony. No, I haven't. She's like, what's going on? Yeah. All right, let's go inside. Yeah. There's so much tiger in real life. Are they bigger from the last time you saw them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Big time. Yeah. Thank you for everything. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Okay. Thanks for letting us do this. Yeah. <laughs> very, very kind. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. Hi. They also get a blanket that I've uh, put in with all the puppies so it gets all their smells on it. So it makes it a little bit easier. Um, this one, Big Pete really liked and it's kind of torn up so gonna give it away to them. Um, yeah. I don't know what it this is for you. Happy oh thank you so much. Oh thank you so much. <laughs> oh, good to see you too. Such a great job. You ready to meet your boy?
thank you. <laughs> It's almost like I'm saying goodbye to my dad again. Thanks for everything. Thank you for trusting me with how he was brought up and everything. You did such a great job. You did. Thank we you. Have to. You guys will do great. Up to your standards. You guys will do great. I know you will. <laughs> Late night phone calls. That's fine. <laughs> you guys, I'm, I'm a text message away. Yeah. Absolutely.